Oh, bed pillows seem to be those things that they conjure you up into buying all the time when you may or may not need a new one. It's like, I wonder, is that what really is, is my problem? Is a pillow? It could be. Um, these are nice. These two here are great. They finally come out with a soft medium density and then they have the traditional firm. These are the space pillows. It's a king size. And I love them. I love both of them equally. So let's just talk about the new one, the, 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 the um, soft medium firm. And I think the company is on track to do great things. Uh, they have somehow mastered the cool technique, which is a lot of the fabric, a lot of the air allowing to get in, but also uh, the uh, concoction of the pillow itself in there, allowing that retention, that, that just instant bounce back. Like that's been a problem with these types of pillows, these memory foam type of pillows, is you don't get that instant bounce back. That's pretty cool. And they, Space Foam has mastered that. And it just feels icy cold. Like when you go to the next spot, icy cold. You roll over, icy cold. You roll back over, icy cold. And you can do it instantly and the pillow is going to feel the same exact way each time that you do it, no matter how fast you go back because it bounces itself back so fast. It's, it's crazy how these things work. And I've always told people about these pillows and um, I got the newest one. I've had the newest one in for months now, for quite a few months. And I think it's high time to do a review on it. Uh, the foam is antimicrobial, hypoallergenic, and dust mite resistant. Uh, it features ice fibra, which is this kind of cool stuff in here. Um, a cover and comfortably cools you to sleep. And that's true, the cover is great. It's super slick. So you're gonna need one of those cover bed covers you can sleep with it like this. I've washed these. You can un it unzips, uh, gentle cycle, and then air dry will work. I think it recommends hand washing or something like that, then air drying. But I was able to do it on delicate, and then I just let it air dry, and it's been great. It, it cleans it really well. But if you do use a pillowcase, make sure it's got those that has the locking in the pillow into the pillowcase thing, that, that, that piece that comes over and, and really hugs it and stops it from sliding out one end. You, you would need that because this thing is like whoosh, 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 slicky slicky lightweight design this thing is incredibly lightweight both of them are it's designed that way to provide a weightless feeling for a refreshing night's sleep and i kind of buy that i mean it's it's there it's a pillow your head's on it but it's not a heavy object that would cause some kind of weird resistance in your sleep at some point in time. It seems to flow with you and never ending because it's so light. You don't know the barriers of the pillow itself while you're in a sleep state, if that makes any sense whatsoever, but that's a true statement. Now the traditional firm density is what they come out with first, and that is good for side sleepers, and I use it as a back sleeper as well because it will allow your head to melt down in while providing enough resistance to the back of the neck to create a good arch to allow that air to go through. That's one of the good things I loved about neck pillows for the longest time is that your head was in this perfect position and allowing as much oxygen as possible to go through. So you really don't snore. So if you do have a snoring issue, uh, try the tempur neck contour pillow out. Try that thing out and use the biggest part of that contour under your neck to kick that thing back and not allow that flapping snoring noise to happen and allow more oxygen to go through. So if you have that issue, that might be able to help you. I, I, the tempur contour pillow was the only thing I could use forever until these come around. And there's enough uh, good things about this one. For one, it's king size. And the tempur you know, stayed like a small size. I don't even I think they were less than a queen size. And they didn't really get that big. So you didn't have that much real estate to roll around on. And these are lightweight. It just cools. You'll never sweat on it. I would sweat sometimes on the tempur memory foam. These you will not sweat. So those things were enough justification for me to switch over for the first time ever to another pillow company. And the soft medium density, which is this top guy here, is ideal for your back and stomach sleepers. Somebody asked me on the review I did for the uh, firm pillow, is this good for stomach sleepers and I think I replied well no I don't think so but I'm not sure 
But this one, yeah, because this is what you have happening. Here they are side by side. The two beast behemoths themselves uh, side by side. So what you have is I'm pushing down equally. And you'll go uh, quite a bit farther down on the, the soft. But the retention is the same. Like it, the bounce back is about the same speed, which is cr crazy to me that it's got such a good bounce back which is cool. There's so much air moving through there. That ice fabric, I mean, when you sit down on it, that air just whoosh and surrounds you. And it just, there's a constant airflow going on in this world. But uh, you'll get about, what is this? Like a, it feels like a couple inches thickness in here, an inch. And in this, I can press this instantly down uh, and almost be a quarter or half inch away from my other fingers. This one, I'm getting about an inch or so away from my touching my fingers. This one, not the case. And it's like instant close. See how this one takes a little bit longer to close? Instant. So stomach sleepers could sleep on this without suffocating yourself, I guess. But it allows that, uh, you know, your head not to be cocked back too far thing. And you're closer to the mattress. So if this is what you like... This will give you a little bit of pushback into those empty spaces, like in your neck or whatever. So if you just like something to be soft, uh, go with this. This is like super soft. You can see how this thing's moving right now. And this is a more firm. You can see how it's not as wavy soft as this one is. You see that? So it's amazing that they were able to stay along the same lines in the same space. And you honestly know these two pillows are connected to each other just by how uh, they're designed and made. And they're similar, but yet so far apart. And they should be able to fill in those gaps of, of things that people wanted, which is good on their part. Let's take a look at the actual inside of this pillow and see what their stuff is that they put in here. Hopefully you can see some of the air holes in there and into this substance and this miracle substance here but there's the holes are the same size on both so they didn't just expand the holes bigger here to make this softer this is actually a different formula and you can see the swirls and stuff are different like what they use to pour to make this pillow than this one and let me unzip this one you can see for yourself and here you can see uh, in comparison it looks like there may be a few more extra holes in this pillow than this one i'm not sure they look a little closer together the holes do on the softer one and the mix looks a little different as well you can see a swirly uh, mix to make this actual pillow and it's not so much on this one as well so yeah it looks like the holes they're the same diameter but they look a little closer together now that I'm looking at them close close to each other like this so and then these the holes go to the edges all the way and these kind of stop near the edges so I guess that's where you're helping to get your soft uh, but the retention and everything is, is fantastic on these pillows. So if you're in the market for uh, a new pillow and you're a stomach sleeper, go the soft route because it will collapse a little farther down, but bounce back the same as the firm one. And this, will, this firm one here will, will hold uh, a little bit thicker of a, of a feeling for you for your side sleeper there, fill in that neck gap as well and give a little bit more resistance into that neck gap for you to sleep. And this works as a back sleeper for me too. I'm currently using this one as a back sleeper, the soft one, and it's working, but I kind of switch back and forth. But you know, there's a link to these pillows down in the YouTube description, so make sure to go check those out. And make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified of the next pillow review that I have coming. Hopefully, I don't have one, because why would I need one? Because I have two great ones right here. So, but we'll see what the future holds. See ya.